and we are here live hello all of our friends out on the internet Jeff here and I just wanted to check in with you because we have a, a very busy day here today but uh, they had something that came up here that I wanted to bring your attention to because it's such a massive savings here that I wanted to share it with all of you folks here so I'm actually standing uh, you know where I'm right <laughs> now you guys know I'm I'm standing in uh, a Costco sale club here I'm actually standing at the one here in Davie Florida and you know um, they already rejected my request to legally film inside their store so I can't go into Costco and film anymore so but uh, I did get this deal in today that was so good that I wanted to share it with you folks today here so uh, you know how I always tell you if you wait long enough in the ads and their flyers there the item you're looking for is bound to come on sale right so as I look over here that's about as much much as I can show you of the building because I'm way out. I'm, I'm way at the at the border between the Costco here and the trees, basically. So, anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was this. Let me set this stage here for you. So this is the Dyson V11, and I've been watching this one for a number of weeks now. So this particular vacuum, they claim it has twice the suction of any free uh, any cord-free vacuum there. That sucks that you can't fit in there. Yeah, it does. It sure does. Um, so anyway, this one, <clears throat> if you look normally, I've been I've been looking for about the past month or so coming in here to Costco. And this D this V11 here from Dyson is normally on the shelf for $5.79. And I've looked online and nobody really sells it any cheaper here. Did you get a response explaining your decline? No, no, they never responded back to me as to why other than that strange reason. What I might try to do though is I might try to contact somehow the CEO's office. I don't know if anybody there will do anything for me. I, you know, you just you just never know. But it might be worth a shot. Okay, so anyway, so this was $5.79. And then, um, I don't know if I have the ad here with me. Let me see if I've got the ad here. Hang on. I do. So their flyer comes in the mail, right? Here's the Costco flyer here. Comes in the mail the other day. And I start flipping through it, and I find the ad for it here. And I'm going to see if I can find it in here. But anyway, what they do is every other month, they drop the price of this thing here. And they drop it, I don't know, sometimes 100 bucks, sometimes more. And uh, so this time, they dropped the price $130, right? So for the last two weeks that I've been coming in here and checking the price, it was $5.79 on the shelf and and i went in last week and i really wanted to get it and start using it and it wasn't in the on the flyer or anything but then all of a sudden this comes in the mail and there it is folks right there save 130 dollars so we totally kicked butt on this so this made it i think 449 is the the final price and they had a few different vacuums so they had they had a shark here this is their shark lift away that one was 60 bucks off, but they had a couple of other Dysons that were on sale as well. And I think a couple of Roombas were 50 bucks off, but you know, I, I don't like those iRobot, those Roombas very much there. Uh, let me try to see. It's hard to read outside, so I'm going to try to see what you guys are commenting here. So Dyson needs to make the battery swappable like the Milwaukee. Hey, maybe they'll do that one day too. So what's the current leader for actually most powerful vacuum? Well, from some of the reviews that I've seen, this is it, guys. So, uh, the Dyson V10, which is also in there for sale right now, is $100 off. That one, I believe, was pretty much right up there with this one. And there was some there was some Shark units that were. Um, let me see. One of, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, it's Vacuum Wars, I believe. If you go to Vacuum Wars channel, they have a great channel. Where they they're testing vacuum cleaners and stuff all of the time and the v11 was was like virtually right up there at the top so what i liked about this one too is you know the power that it has and that they say it'll run up to 60 minutes but you know guys manufacturers have been scamming us for years and we all know that there's always an asterisk so it's up to 60 minutes in eco mode which means all right if you have light stuff to pick up fine but if you have to use it in like super heavy mode, um, like a boost mode there to get really intensive cleaning, you might get up to five minutes on the battery. But on your normal modes or you let it do auto choose, 
where it decides what surface it's on yeah then it'll go and you could get probably 40 minutes on one floor 20 minutes on another we're going to see we're going to test it out we're going to do a tool review on this i'll i'll hope to be filming it either this week or next week and have a good good solid tool review for you guys uh, oh the shop backs which one was the top um you know they're all pretty close with the shop backs and you know the shop backs the 16 gallon which is the real big one which actually i've got it right here in my car because i'm taking it over to my friend's house tonight this is the one i got at at home depot on um black friday for 39 dollars so the motor in this guy it believe it or not is roughly the same size as the motor that's in the little four gallon uh, rigid one and uh so we got pretty similar measurements when we use that that um what do we call it it's called the volume of water meter the vacuum suction meter there that we got and if you saw that video we uploaded a few weeks ago where we tested the them we'll be using that same meter on here too and i'll be comparing this against my older dyson which i forget what it's it's like a dy7 or something it's an old one from like 2003 but anyway i mean look at this costco they are so packed because i'm like as far as you can possibly be <clears throat> from the building there and so <clears throat> this is one of the busier ones this is in davie and it's always like this no matter when you come and forget about christmas time just forget about that nonsense because you'll never even get around here there's been times where we had to park in the shopping center across the way over there so this was a good savings here and let me show you the receipt <clears throat> Because you always want to check to make sure, especially on a big ticket item like this, to make sure that you actually get the discount. So there you can see it rings up at $579, and then right below it, they took $130 off of it. All right. And then I, I bought my uh, Fusion cartridges here too for Gillette and got 10 bucks off of that. So it should show the total savings on here. Yeah. So it says total instant savings right there, $140. So today was a ching ching day for us, big time here. I felt like Black Friday all over again. To walk in here and get this thing $140 off. And I had just checked on Amazon last week, and this was $569 on Amazon. There was a seller on there for $569. So that's a pretty good deal here. And let's see, I can't read your guys' names, so I'm sorry because it shows it in a really light gray that I can't read outside here. But I can read the comments. So let me see. It says water column lift. Yeah, that's what we're using. That's the meter. And does that website test water lift? I don't know if he did or not. What he basically does is he throws sand down, throws powder down, and then sees how the different uh, vacuums compare. And he, he does really good videos with that, too. And uh, please review the bagels. Oh, you saw the bagels. Their bagels are pretty good here. But well, let me warn you about these. They don't have preservatives in them, so they won't last very long. So what stinks about Costco is they make you buy two bags of six, and it'll, it'll probably take me the whole week to go through six, and by the time the end of the week rolls around, the second bag will start getting mold on it. So Sam's Club lets you buy them in groups of six, and so does BJ's, or nine, I think, at, at BJ's. Yeah, but anyway, so I, I just wanted to let you guys know about this here. And then I wanted to remind you, um, what I'm doing today is, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to go right over there and have lunch. Then I'm going over to my friend John's house. And if you remember, I showed you that live stream last Wednesday from his kitchen where we had to extract out that base cabinet from the kitchen that got water damage. And we had to extract it out without destroying the granite counter that runs over the top of it. So we managed to get that done. That was a five-hour ordeal because you have to undo every single thing under that cabinet there and so i'm going over today to finish it up and silicone around the edge of the sink and all that and get that sealed up and then tonight i'm going over to my other friend ernie's house that i showed you the live stream from the other night where we disassembled that entire white kitchen that old old ugly nasty dirty kitchen because he has new tenants moving in next week and we have cabinets coming wednesday and so we're going to be really busy prepping that kitchen and getting it all going so we're videoing that whole process too as well so we have a comment that says thank you for the great videos hey well thank you guys for viewing you know and i think that's pretty much it that's pretty much all we wanted to cover today here and it's a bright sunny day here at costco here and as you kind of look around there behind me there 
it's way off into the distance so yeah I hope I, I can get the CEO's office or somebody's office there to override these other guys that gave me kind of a really bogus answer especially when they have an agreement on their website that's made specifically for vloggers like me and all you have to agree is that you're not going to show them in a bad light which I've, I've never done I just go in there and I show you know the stuff and the big ticket items and stuff that's on sale I've had many of our viewers show tell me that they bought stuff that they would not have bought or didn't know about had I not put it on our videos here on our live stream all right so anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in I'm gonna go get some lunch across the street there's a chick-fil-a there's a I think it's a burger fi and maybe a chipotle I don't know which one I have no idea which one I should do for lunch but I'm getting pretty hungry all this running around makes me hungry and thirsty so thanks folks and hey check online check our videos that we've posted up this week we've got some good ones i'm also working on a couple of other good ones too uh, one of them is how to rewire an outlet that somebody miswired so when you get your house for sale and the the inspector comes in for the buyer and he plugs his little tester in and he says oh you have a reverse wired outlet we're going to show you how to fix that and the other one we're working on is a Schluter Ditra fail. So if you know what Schluter Ditra is, that's what we roll down on the floor and the subfloor before we tile in bathrooms. So we're going to show you a fail that happened there and how we got around that, how we fixed it. And let me check a, just a couple more comments. Have a cold beer. Cheers, says Ross. Okay, I was able to read that one. Good. All right, guys. Thanks, and we'll see you all on the next one. Have a great afternoon.